I know. So I'm gonna start off. Uh, I'm gonna start off from here. So first comment, unless you have any other thoughts before I get into it here. No, go ahead, man. Let's go. Let's get at her. Okay. How do I build my kid, son's confidence? Because I, I, I'm struggling with it right now. I said, so I'm going to assume, only assume that he's not the top guy on your team. I was right. And you're trying to find things just to keep him pumped up or to make him feel better. He goes, yeah, as you alluded to, most people go to the positive. And I said this exact story to him. I said, the, the first thing you don't want to do is come up with bullshit. Kid comes off the ice, he knows exactly how he played. If he's not confident, you as a dad or a mom or friends or Grammys or whatever, saying you played so good, you played, worked so hard, they don't want to hear it because it's bullshit. That, nor does the opposite be a negative saying the things that that you should be that doesn't help them <laughs> you know it's, yeah. i need a strategy and i said with the strategy you're going to give them confidence i said you got to give them basic foundational simple simplicity so he's a d what's something that we could work on i gave him three things i said now we talk to him and just say you know what if you do these three things just work on these three things now he, when he's on the ice he's got two three things that he is working on that he's focused on this this boy gets the puck and he sees a winger or centerman and he puts it on the tape that's a success and that success needs to be celebrated some people are going to say yeah but need to score goals no goals are not the important thing they're going to come or they're not who yeah. cares but there's a success so he's got one success he did it once that game he comes off the ice and he you know maybe his head's down or he's not sure or if you bring that up and say son the second period that was you could tell you you could tell you've practiced or you're thinking about it there's nothing wrong with that that helps that kid will he want to do it again got recognized for doing something well and don't minimize it it's huge so you build on that kind of stuff so first one this was a video we did recently um it was about kids that are playing triple a hockey and how to build their confidence so context for the video if i can't figure out how to post it is you were talking about uh one of the one of the dads that we had come in here and he asked you a question about uh building his kid's confidence and you kind of gave yeah. him three things yeah the three thing idea which you're you're big on for people that have listened before and uh so one of the comments that somebody somebody wrote um this was it so with that context uh take him out of triple a and let him go be a stud in double a hockey the confidence will come then throw him back in triple a if he belongs so this was this was a comment that somebody put on that video and we're talking about young kids playing triple a how to how to be confident and so yep. that's that's kind of the um that's kind of the context yep. if you want to throw your thoughts on that yeah so so the uh the, the person asked um you know how to build his confidence on the ice and i qualified it by saying it's on the ice not off the ice yes so again this this boy is probably not the top end guy on the team so his dad's asking for solutions mm -hmm. so it's easy to say well just go to play double a well, the kid, the kid in the family, he's good enough to play AAA. And I get, like, so, so first of all, to that argument that the, the person said, I, I'll use my own son as an example because it's the best example I can give. Mm -hmm. It's not about me talking about my kid. So when Charlie was coming up through the uh, ranks, at, at the peewee level, <clears throat> I decided, because I wanted to keep him out of AAA for as long as I could. Because I, hockey player is a hockey player, in my opinion. Oh, so go more into that though. Why? Like, why was that your philosophy? Keep him out of My AAA? philosophy on that was because I had no, like, yes, he was a pretty good little hockey player, like mm -hmm. a young guy. Yes, he loved hockey. And yes, he did all the proxy, did all the right things. But yes, also, he was only, you know, eight, nine, 10, 11 years old. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was one. Um, I didn't know, like, I didn't see the benefit, like, so for the confidence thing. So I wanted him to play at, with his friends, having fun, eliminating all the, like, the huge expense, eliminating traveling all over the place, eliminating getting too serious. And uh, because I didn't know if he was a hockey player yet. He did all the right things when he was young, yeah. but I didn't know. Like, kid. I've been yeah. around this for all my life. Yep. So I wanted to hold back and, and be with his friends for a while. It was fun. It was, and I also know that as parents, that your your smaller community so ours was essex no one even knows where that is it's mm -hmm. outside of windsor um the little essex team that we had where they went to school together and the parents a lot of people were friends so when you go to games it was like you'd hang out together a, a little bit yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. social thing and it was just a nice time mm -hmm. it was just nice yeah. it was it is what hockey's supposed to be yeah and i really wish in general hockey would go back which it won't go back to your small centers and just play and, and and because here's why because I truly believe if more people just played in their small centers, what would happen is your stars would be stars. You'd have more kids playing at a travel level. So who knows what happens to the mediocre 
guys, right? And uh, yeah, so your mediocre guys get better and you can kind of make each other better. I mm-hmm. think. Yep. I think. Yep. What happens is the 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 top guys try to go to the AAA level and then they either blend in and like okay, so let's say you go an Adam or Pee Wee and you're not the top guy and you're you know, you're a third line guy. Um you're I don't like to say confidence, but are you confident? Do you play with confidence? Whereas if you played, you know, in a in a smaller center just playing against your, you know, it's not triple A. Oh, well, uh, but you're still playing hockey and you can have confidence. You have to probably have the puck a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Right? You know, you're, do, you're doing a lot of things that are benefiting your hockey in the long term. Yeah. So um, the original question was. Yeah, I was going to say, so just to, to hop in now. So he, this guy's point was he's in triple A already. So he was saying, take him out of triple A to go to double A, let him gain some confidence and then come back to triple A if he actually belongs in AAA. So that was his specific yeah. comment. Okay, so the kid does belong in AAA right now. And uh, and, and if I was dad, if, okay, so if I was dad and my son wasn't a top-tier AAA player, I would do that. I I, I would do that. Okay. I, I'd take that advice and I would say, yeah, you're right. Personally, I would do that. All right, can I push back on that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I remember because this was – so I have a personal example because for me, I started playing AAA right from like Select 7. So I was Select yeah. 7 and then I was AAA every year. Yeah. One year, I was maybe 11, so probably around the same age as the guy, the kid that was asking, and I was on the bubble yeah. for after tryouts, and I was definitely one of the better players, but mm-hmm. I didn't just didn't have a good tryout or whatever, and so I was starting to get asked by the double A coach, seeing as I was a kid on the bubble, and he said, "Oh, like come down, we'll make you the captain of the team, you'll play all the time, whatever." And he was talking to my dad about that. And then my dad, I remember, I vividly remember we had the discussion in the car, like going home after the one uh, tryout. And I was all like down in the dumps, whatever, because I was all, didn't have a good camp and I'm on the bubble. I'm like, how am I not signed yet? I've played every year and all this kind of stuff. And to me, in, from my perspective, if I would have went down to double A, I think that would have been worse because now that feels like a loss, right? Because I was triple A. And now you're taking me out and going no, to double I, I get that. And, and I don't know how, and it might have been better, but I don't know how it would have bounced back for that. But the idea as a kid of me being like demoted to yeah. double A, yeah. I don't know if that would have started like a spiral down where like, I just don't care that much about hockey anymore because now I'm in double A. Yeah, you don't right? know. Yeah, you so don't know. That was, that's but just a my, little push. My back. perspective on that is that if you're, if you're a dad making a decision to take him there, you should know. You have a pretty good clue when you go to tryouts if you have half a half a melon on you, mm-hmm. right? You have a pretty good clue. Okay, no, he stands out. He's he, yeah. he, This would be good for yeah. him. If he just blends in, I actually wouldn't necessarily take him early. I'm not saying that that's what you do or that's what you don't do. That's my own personal opinion. Well, what do you so, think about that specific point of take him out of AAA? So he was there, well, okay, and so, now you're taking it away. Well, right? in, so context, that's different. in context of the video, though, that, yeah. that he's responding to, we came up with a solution, mm-hmm. not, well, let's just put pluck you. Right. Out, right? Yeah. So this is, there's learning experience as anything you do. So we could easily say, yeah, son, we're going to take you out. I don't think that's a good thing to do to take your kid midseason and go, okay, you go play with guys that are good. And I don't even know if you can. Mm. Maybe you probably could. But... For me, it's like coming up with solutions. So the the, the point of that que- the his the the video that he listened to was like someone said, "How do I give them confidence?" And the because um, he wasn't the, one of the best on the team. Well, the you could sit there and say, "Well, you're not good enough here, and let's pluck you and go back and play double A." That's I don't know if that's the best solution. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's building confidence in your game. Right. You might be yeah, yeah. basically hitting him over head with a shovel. Yeah, sorry, yeah, that's fine. you know what I mean. Um, because dad doesn't think you're good enough. Now, dad comes across and says, okay, son, here's here's what I think you can do to, to even gain more confidence. You say it in the right way. And you give him three things to work on, and he does. I think that's a better solution. Right. Next year when the season starts, if if the season, if he just, if he's not at the level that he should be to play at the AAA yeah. level, then I think that's appropriate to say, you know what, son, I think we should go back. And you don't you don't say because you're shit. Yeah. You say because I think you're going to be better off getting more puck touches and, you know, get, get, you know, right. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I would say, yeah, so it's... Context summary. of the question. Yeah. Try to, you want to try to solve the problem first before you make, like, some drastic yeah, kind so, of move so, or decision, and that was right? The, that was the point of that video. It was, like, a person asked me a question. Yeah. How do I solve this? And I, I probably would have hurt the dad's feelings when I said, well, just take him out of AAA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so well, you're a, you're a great coach. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right? right. So I just tried to put, provide a solution there. Yep. 